Welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick. If you guys aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below to follow my journeys here in the Philippines. I am back in the BGC area here in Manila and I'm down at SM Aurora Mall today to extend my visa here in the Philippines. Yes, it is that time again for me to extend my visa. I have three options. I can extend my visa for one month, two months, or six months. What do you guys think I will do? <laughs> Follow me and let's head inside and extend my visa here in the Philippines. It's done guys. I have extended my visa here in the Philippines. Gosh, I think this is my fourth time extending it. How long do you guys think I extended it for? One month, two months, or six months? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I have extended my visa here in the Philippines for six months. I have not spent this long in a country for years. I will have been here in the Philippines for a year. So I will for sure remain in the Philippines until April 2021. I am very excited and it just feels right. It feels right and this year has just been very interesting for me and I know for a lot of other people and I'm just embracing the Philippines and just going with the flow. I will be seeing you guys here in the Philippines for sure for the next six months. Yeah! After being in the Philippines for over six months, I was eligible for the six month visa. It came out to 7,240 pesos. That's roughly 150 US dollars. All you need to do is fill out some simple paperwork, hand it in. It took me about an hour to receive my visa back. Usually you have a choice between regular or express lane, but with the six month visa, you only can do it through the express lane, but it's definitely worth it. I've made it to the rooftop of the Aurora SM Mall here in BGC. It's a beautiful place to visit. There's a garden on the rooftop. There are a few restaurants. There's also a playground. Check out the playground behind me, guys. Unfortunately, the playground is closed, but maybe that's because of the pandemic, but it is a great place to bring your family, hang out, relax, and I'm so happy to see that it's open right now, even during the GCQ pandemic quarantine. They've got all this music playing. There are several music boxes in the bushes here. They've got some salsa going on right now. Kind of a nice feel to the atmosphere up here. Once you make your way to the end of the rooftop, you'll see a little cute, pretty garden with a pretty view of BGC, the downtown area with the skyscrapers. You can also look out into the distance to the mountains that are surrounding Metro Manila. I really love this rooftop at SM Aurora Mall. It's very relaxing, kind of gets away from all the crowds and the busyness of the mall. I highly suggest coming here if you want to have some outdoor atmosphere, a little nature, but also have your shopping. This is the perfect place to come. Now I'm heading into the mall itself, guys. You can see all the greenery just outside here, heading down the escalator. Now to walk around and explore a little bit more of this mall. So I was surprised, guys. There's a gym at the top of the mall here, and it is open. It is the only gym I have come across here in Manila that is open. It's called Fitness First. It's great to know that there is a gym here in Manila that is open. Okay, okay. Aurora SM Mall here in the BGC area was actually the very first mall I visited here in Manila, here in the Philippines when I first arrived back in February. It's a really nice mall. It's right next to immigration and a lot of business areas and also near to the high street area. It's a great place to stop by if you want to cool off with the air conditioning and just see a really cool mall. While I'm in the mall, I want to go to the toy 
store, if I can find a toy store. For those of you who have seen my daily routine here in Manila during the lockdown, I showed you guys my doll, Bob, which I use for teaching. Bob is a little tired and old, so I'm looking for a new puppet. I think it's time to say goodbye to Bob and come up with some kind of funny story to my, with my students that Bob has gone on a long, long, long vacation. The best way to get exercise and social distance in the mall, take the stairs. They have beautiful stairs here in the malls in the Philippines. I really love taking them and I take them whenever I can too. I'm loving all the Christmas decorations out and about and the Christmas music. Okay, I'm going back upstairs to the third floor. That's where they have a toy store and let's see if I can find a puppet. Do you, do you have any uh, pu puppets? Puppets, sir. <laughs> One moment, sir. I will check. Okay, okay. thank you. This yeah, 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 with the mouth. The lady showed me Baby Shark. It's a puppet, but it makes noise. But I can take the battery out so it doesn't make noise. What do you think? Super cute. Hello. My name is Baby Shark. They've got Halloween masks. Now I'm excited for Halloween and Christmas. This is my new buddy teaching, Baby Shark. <laughs> the lady was really nice. She took out the batteries so it doesn't make noise anymore. So this should be perfect for teaching. It's lunchtime guys and today I decided to try some more Filipino food. I'm trying for the first time pancit puti which looks good. It's noodles with shredded chicken. I've got some lime here. Oh yeah. Then one of my favorite Filipino dishes is adobo chicken. So I've got the adobo chicken here and I believe this is an egg. I'll find out in a minute but I think that's an egg as well. And then of course I have some rice. So first guys is the adobo. Adobo is a favorite of mine here in the Philippines. So let's try some here. Mm. That's good adobo. It's a bit salty. I like the adobo salty and I love the sauce that it's in. I feel like you can never go wrong with adobo here in the Philippines. Of course it's an egg. Looks really good. Let's see. that boiled egg and the adobo sauce mm, tastes so good next guys I'm eating some pancit puti which is my first time noodles some shredded chicken I dripped some lime on top let's see hmm tastes good I have to be honest I'm not crazy about it but the lime definitely adds to the noodles If you guys want to make me really happy and make my stomach really happy, feed me adobo. I will always be so happy. It is definitely one of my favorite dishes here in the Philippines. It's always good to mix the adobo sauce with the rice. That's what I like to do. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone does. Check that out. Oh yeah. Right next to the mall in this very rich area in BGC, there is a more local neighborhood here. And this is one thing I have noticed, and you'll notice too, traveling the Philippines and the bigger cities, that there's a lot of contrast between the really rich areas and the poorer areas. The building down here is playing some fun music, maybe karaoke. You can see how far this neighborhood goes for. In the distance, you can see, con I believe those are condominiums. And you can see how this neighborhood seems to be kind of stacked. Some of it seems to be made out of tin or metal and bricks. Just something interesting that I wanted to share with you guys and how you'll see the different contrasts and how the city of Manila is getting better and better. Yes, this is a poor area, but hopefully in the future, it will get more developed and these people will have maybe better living conditions. And I'm back guys. Wow, I have extended my visa here in the Philippines for six months. It feels right. It's something that 
I never expected to do because I haven't lived in a country for longer than three months or maybe four months for several years. So I will be living here in the Philippines for a year, at least a year and I'm, I'm excited to stay here and I'm embracing the Philippines and it's been wonderful and I also want to say thank you to everyone who has recently joined the channel and to really thank everyone who sent me messages and comments regarding that video about my father and his wife and why I avoided the Philippines which I want to reiterate again I have never said that I disliked the Philippines or that I hated the Philippines. Yes, I avoided the Philippines, but that wasn't out of hate or dislike. Honestly, I feel like now, I feel like I was avoiding the Philippines out of fear that I didn't want to face some feelings and that part of me, you know, was just nervous about coming to the Philippines because of those connections. I received so many wonderful, compassionate comments over that video and I just want to say thank you to everyone who took the time to understand my story and to watch my videos that I did earlier this year about the Philippines. I embraced and loved the Philippines the first day I arrived here. My father and I, we are absolutely fine. I just talked to him two weeks ago. We talk a few times a month. We are on the phone for an hour. Everything is good. Uh, the, remember, remember, this is 10 years. And when I did this video, I didn't expect to get as emotional as I did. So it may seem that there's a lot of unresolved issues, but a lot of those issues are resolved, but it was something that just needed to come out. And I really did that video for me. I needed to do that video for me to move forward with filming more in the Philippines. It just felt right and I wanted to put it out there that maybe there's other people that could relate and just to really tell my truth. Some people have really sent me some really hateful comments and messages and an overwhelming amount of people have sent me really compassionate and kind comments. So it is what it is, but I'm so happy and I feel so free putting that out there. I have reached out to my dad's wife over the years. I reached out to her earlier this year, back in March and April. She's responded a few times, but doesn't seem to really want to connect and that's fine I've accepted that I've accepted my dad for who he is and I'm accepting her too I wish that she was more open and wanting to have a relationship with me But it is what it is and that's okay when my dad is here in the Philippines That's when she likes to see me and that's fine. So it is what it is I also had a good birthday here I didn't do a video this year because I usually always do a hiking video that is a tradition of mine and something very, uh, I guess, sentimental to me. So that is something that I will do in the future as things open up more here in the Philippines that I will do a future birthday video. <laughs> but I did have a good time. I spent a day with a friend and I went around the city a bit. So I had a good birthday. And thank you to everyone who sent me all the birth happy birthday messages. I really appreciate it. One of my friends actually made this portrait of me that I posted on my wall on YouTube, which was so kind of him. He also made these stickers, these Pat Max Adventure stickers, black and white. <laughs> So, if you guys see me outside walking about the, around the city here in Manila or Cebu or Palawan, wherever I am in the Philippines, please feel free to say hi and you will get a Pat Max Adventure sticker. <laughs> I actually just handed one out to someone yesterday. So, um, feel free to say hi to me if you see me out in public and I'll be more than happy to give you a sticker. I also do have some Filipino friends. I have a good Filipino friend here in Manila that I see every week and another Filipino friend here. I have two friends up north near Baguio and I have quite a few Filipino friends and some foreigner friends that I made back in Cebu. Because I was there during the lockdown, I really got close to a lot of people there. I guess in a way, we kind of became somewhat of a family during the lockdown because it was really intense in Cebu City back in March, April, and May. So I just want to make it clear to those of you that have said and messaged to me like, oh, you're always alone. I'm not alone. I do have Filipino friends here. But because of the pandemic, it's been difficult to meet new people. Hikes are closed. The gym is closed. A lot of things that I normally would go and do where I meet new people are closed. But that will change as the Philippines begins to open up. And I'm excited to share more local people in my videos going forward. But it's just a little restrained right now because of the pandemic. But I'm not alone. So just so everyone knows that I'm okay and that everything is okay. I know it's been a bit of a experience for those of you who have just discovered my channel, seeing this really 
personal emotional video and then seeing this happy fun jolly bee video but thank you to a lot of you who are watching some of my past videos to understand that I've been here in the Philippines and I've been loving it and I've been embracing it since the beginning and I plan to continue to do that going forward. Thanks again for watching guys and remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.